In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hide elements on specific screen sizes or devices without using our global breakpoints. For those of you wondering how you can get access to this website agency landing page, I'll have the link down in the description. For this example, we're going to go ahead and hide our button here. So let's click on our button. Let's go into advanced. Make sure that you have Elementor Pro. Go into custom CSS. Let's say we want to go ahead and hide this button with a width of, let's do 1170. So basically, anything below 1170, we're going to go ahead and hide this button here. So it's pretty simple. Since we're not targeting mobile devices, we're not going to add a screen only option. So we're just going to target the screen size. So first, type in the at symbol, type in media, and then go ahead and add your oval brackets. And then inside your oval shape brackets, go ahead and type in max width colon 1170 pixels. So basically we're saying that anything below 1170 pixels, that's the max width, our style that we're gonna add inside here is gonna activate. So let's add our curly brackets. Now, if we go above 1170 pixels, this code isn't gonna work. We need to target our button. We can use selector. So just type in selector and then type in curly brackets. So this selector will basically target the element that we're currently working on, which is our button here. And we're gonna add a display colon none. So as you can see, that's gone. And that's only because we're below 1170. But if we were to go above 1170, you notice the button would come back. Right now we're at um, 1200. And if we go below 1170, our button's gonna be gone. But let's say we only want to hide this element between 1170 and 767, which is usually mobile. We're gonna hide it in between 1170 and 767. And in order to hide things in between screen size is we need to go ahead and after our oval shape bracket here, we need to add an and. So we'll add an and and then add your oval shape bracket again. And then in between that, instead of doing a max, we're gonna do a minimum. So the minimum width that the style should activate. So we're gonna do min width colon, and then we're gonna do 767 pixels. So that is the minimum. Anything below 767, the button will come back. So now we're still at 1170 and it's gone, right? It's gone, it's gone, but if we go, it's still gone. You see now that it will return. Now, of course, we have that set as a global breakpoint, but of course we don't have to use 767, you can use 750, whatever that may be. Now, let's say we wanna go ahead and target a mobile device here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to mobile and let's say we're targeting something like an iPhone or a Galaxy. We want to go ahead and hide this button. What we do is we type the at symbol again, media, and we do only screen and the width that we want our style to activate. We're going to do a max width colon and let's do 720 pixels and then we're going to add our curly brackets. Then inside our curly brackets, we're going to add our style. So we're going to do display none. Now, of course, it's not working yet because I totally forgot to target our class or our selector. So let's target our selector, add your curly brackets, and then let's do display colon none. Now, of course, that's not activated yet because we need to shrink our width here. And you know what? We, need to, we forgot to add another colon down here. There we go. So we're saying anything below 720 is a maximum, it's gonna hide. As you can see, there we go. And basically anything below 720, we're not gonna have our button or our element there. Now, of course I can add an and, and I can add it in between CERN width. I can do maybe max width and then do an and minimum width seven, um, 320. Now, this same method applies to changing colors, to changing font size, to changing anything like that. 
I could go ahead and copy the same code, go into this font here, just doing this very quickly. We can see that we are HTML tag then H2, go to advance, custom CSS. I will go ahead and add this under our current style that we already have. And then we don't want to do a display here. We want to maybe target our H1 and then target our H2. And then we're going to do a font size, one pixel should bring it down. We can see that it's not working. And it's most likely because we need to go ahead and add in porn. That may be the issue there. So add in porn. And there you go. And basically what this will do is this will pretty much override any existing CSS style that this element has. That's what in porn does. Doesn't matter about the hierarchy or anything like that. This will always work first. Of course, we don't want it to be one pixel. We can do 30, 15, whatever we like. Now, if you can see, if I were to adjust this and go past 720, it's going to go back to its original size. Now you can apply this method with pretty much anything and use any style that you'd like. Now, that is basically it for this video. If you guys do have any questions, just feel free to comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out.